Hey you guys and welcome to my channel. Now, a little small talk for you before we get into the topic. It's like it's winter time. At least it's winter time when I first made this video. Okay. In the winter time, my skin gets so dry and requires so much more moisture from the neck down. You know, I have oily skin on my face, so I definitely don't want to add any additional oils there okay clogging my pores and the breakouts my skin is so sensitive on my face either way um i was at bj's the other day and i was like whoa when i came across this i'm about to show it to you guys look at this gigantic bottle of coconut oil I was like, what in the world? Of course, you know, BJ's will have something like this. 56 ounces of coconut oil. Love it. And it's organic. Mm. This big old thing was $9.99. Okay, for those of you who like a deal. Um, I have a big family, so we love our BJ's membership. But I love getting stuff like this because, you know, I'm not the only one who use coconut oil. Of course, I pass my beauty secrets and hygienic things. Yeah, I tell my kids about it. But either way, um, so many uses for coconut oil. Some people cook with it. I don't really cook with it, but I use it on my body. I put it in my hair. And this is one thing that I can use, and I use this morning, to lock in the moisture on my skin. You know, after you take your shower... You still damp before you dry off. You rub this in. You know, even if it's not melted, because it wasn't melted. And I actually need to get a smaller container. So that maybe I won't have to take this big thing in there with me. Because I won't leave it in there. Because there are younger kids who will just play with that. And make like the mess of their lives. <laughs> but either way. Um, and it works fabulous. At locking in the moisture so once you rub this on your skin of course you're not going to wipe yourself regularly you're more like going to blot or pat yourself dry and you're well on your way to not having an ashy skin sometimes that soap and hard water that's coming out of the faucet you know that bleach in it and stuff like that um dry your skin out that much more but yeah, I thought that was pretty awesome. I was like, ooh, this going to last me a very long time. <laughs> but it's really good for locking in that moisture after your shower. And the other thing that I like to use is um, gels. You know, to me, nobody should be using baby oil in 2019. I'm really surprised that they even still make it. When that's man-made baby oil, when there's so many natural ways and much better, actually, I like a thick gel, you know, those oil gels that um, Johnson & Johnson make. And I don't have it near me to show you guys, but that is really good. It might even say a shower gel, moisturizer, same thing, put it on after your shower, blot yourself. And then I wanted to share this with you guys, too. My African um, shea butter, creamy, very important. Because when you don't get it creamy, I think creamy costs a few dollars more. Just a little more, you know, you have to get it creamy. Because it's when it's not creamy, it's hard. So this is nice and soft. See how I can just push the container in? It's so soft. But either way, I love to use, my feet loves this. My feet. When I make my sons massage my feet or my partner, because I love foot massages, I love it when they do it with this. My feet and my skin on my feet is so happy to use this. And I get this from my hair store. So chances are you will be able to find this at your hair store. Creamy African Shea Bada. But yeah, see, we're not ashy. We're classy around here. Okay? We ain't ashy. We're classy. And I'm pretty sure they have stuff like this on Amazon too. You know, you find pretty much everything. For those of you who are too busy at work to stop at the store, don't want to come out, you know, all that other stuff, can't find it, Amazon. 
You don't have to be running around. But yeah, this is, I don't even know if you can really see the size, like the way that I, this is huge. Okay, this is huge. Let's put something next to it, a pen. Like, you can't really tell. Like, I really, this is a big ass container. All right. But either way, you guys. And then uh, I done diverted. But I wanted to share that. Okay, I wanted to share that. Every now and then we talk about lotions and creams on here. Because I like lotions and creams, you guys. Mm -hmm. But either way, back to the topic at hand. Um, have you ever met somebody and they're just never satisfied? No matter what they do, no matter what they get in life, they will always find something to complain about, something to poke their bottom lip out about. Um, they're going to find the negative. Like, seriously, they're just never satisfied. Or they get that. They're not taking a moment to appreciate it, to value it to savor it or you know acknowledge it properly it's just okay on to the next oh but that was an hour ago or that was yesterday now i want this you know just never satisfied Ugh. i you know it's one of my pet peeves you know we have so much more to be grateful for so much more to have gratitude for than we usually even realize okay but let's talk about it um, because we definitely know that narcissists never seem to be satisfied, do they? <laughs> so I'm going to talk about it in this video. <clears throat> I wrote down five reasons why this person is never satisfied. Now, it could just be some of these reasons or it could be all of these reasons. And usually, you know, it's all of them. Because it's like a domino effect. And chances are, if they have an issue with this, they have an issue with that. Okay? Now, you might have an issue with gratitude in your life. Okay? So, on top of understanding why the people you're interacting with may not be satisfied. Okay? Ooh, I just thought of a sixth reason, you guys. Let me add to number six. Oh, Oops, seven. Oh, this is amazing. This is good, you guys. This is good. We got seven reasons now. Two of them just dropped in my head, you know. But every morning I say thank you, God, for waking me up, for everything you've blessed me with and everything that you're sending me with. I accept your closed doors. I accept your nose because I know that you just have something better for me. I, I literally open my arms and I say, God, I am willing to accept what you have to send my way. My arms are open to receive. Okay, I'm going to be given. That's a given. You know, I'm going to give. But I understand the laws of attraction. I understand the whole idea of giving and receiving. I'm not just trying to receive. I'm going to give. And I know it's going to have, it's going to just, I'm going to receive. I'm going to reap that. It's just a matter of when. And sometimes God let that stuff pile up and he just sent a bulldozer. I'm about to drop all these blessings on your lap at once. Because sometimes you feel like you're doing, you're doing, you're doing. Where's my reward, you know? Am I, am I really even making a difference? And it just like a bulldozer. <laughs> so never don't. The universe knows. God knows. He knows. And you are going to get your reward, you know. But the reward enough is just walking and being obedient and doing, okay. The additional rewards, those are just the sprinkles or the jimmies. And look, it's coming one way or another. It has to come. That is how the laws work. It has to come. 
All right. We're doing a lot of digressing today, but we're not at the same token because it's all interconnected and somebody needed to hear it or else I wouldn't have been, wouldn't have been inclined to say it. Okay. So 10 minutes in and this video is starting, starting. Okay. On the topic and the title. All right. You can time snap it for whoever wants. But I always say, listen to my videos from beginning to end because you never know what I'm going to say. All the way to the end. I might get to the end and you guys know at the end of my videos for all of my my loyal subscribers, the newbies might not know. And welcome to the channel. If this is your first video, come on in. Come on in. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the that bell. The first one because I upload a lot, you guys. And you want to get all the notifications because this channel is dedicated to increasing your emotional maturity. A lot of people come to my channel to learn about narcissistic abuse, and a lot of times they're in a process of healing from that abuse, and they find my channel is a great support system for that, okay? So come on in. If you feel like you've been gullible, if you feel like you've been vulnerable, you've been naive, you've got some shadow work, you're trying to understand psychology, you, you don't have closure in your life, you're trying to understand yourself and your external environment, okay? Lots of pearls of wisdom here on this channel. All right. Welcome. Welcome. And thank you for all my day ones who have been riding out with me. Always hitting that like button, showing support, pushing my content out in YouTube world, sharing my videos, leaving comments. All right. Always good to leave a comment because you never know. It could be a statement that triggers a whole video in me that's going to help lots of other people, you know. It could be a question that you answer that I think the whole community needs to answer to. And then you end up with a video response reply from me, a whole video to help you out and everybody else. So be interactive. Don't be a wallflower here. Let me know you're out there. Let me know you're out there by always hitting that like button, leaving comments. All right. Share the video so other people can know that this channel exists. You know, there's a lot of garbage out there. We need to push channels like this. All right. All right. All right. So yeah, we done came up with another two just by me sitting here talking to you. So you got everything is in um, divine timing there. Divine timing, you guys. All right, so let's go ahead and talk a talk about why some people are never satisfied. And it could be you. Some of these reasons might just apply to you. Just keep listening, all right? Number one, this person is not giving themselves permission to receive substance, all right? So here we have a shallow receiver. This person isn't trying to dive deep. You know, they are concerned with shallow things. You know, hair, makeup, clothes, my car, my house. You know, they're concerned with the shallow things of life. They just want to have sex, not really trying to make love. Are they going to have sex and consider it making love? Because they're very shallow and on the surface. So this person is not even giving themselves permission to receive the substance. You know, if we want to relate this to the narcissist, they learned somewhere down the line. Their truth became one of, you know, real love doesn't exist for me. You know, abundance doesn't really exist for me. That's why I got to take, 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 take and hoard and take everything that I can and then try to keep it all, you know. So their truth became, they latched on to toxic truths, okay? And when that gets into your subconscious, you're going to deflect. You're going to reject. The sun is <laughs> shining in on me right now. It's shining in on me. I'm going to let it. I'm going to let it. Um, they're not going to give themselves permission because they don't even believe it's possible for them. 
you know? So can we really accept something if we don't believe it's possible for us to accept it? If, it's, if we don't see that for us, can we really accept it? If you really feel like you're unlovable, can you really accept love? You're going to be pushing it away. You're going to be, you know, it's going to be deflecting off you, bouncing right back off. People are going to try to send it. It's going to be returned to sender. So number one, some people aren't giving them themselves permission to receive substance or something more in life. They have a very shallow existence where they are very shallow receivers. Okay, they're not giving themselves permission. And if we're not giving ourselves permission, what are we inadvertently doing? We're denying ourselves. Okay, we're denying ourselves. All right, so let's go to number two on my list. Why are some people just never satisfied? They're narrow minded and they have tunnel vision. Okay, and this leads to a person that is unconscious. Okay, this person is unconscious. Like I said in the beginning, when I was talking about someone that will always find a reason to complain. All right, and this is what we're talking about. Narrow-minded, tunnel vision. What we focus on grows. I say that all the time, you guys, and it's true. What we focus on grows. So if I have a narrow mind and a tunnel vision, and all I could focus on, well... Well, I got the blessing, but why did it take so long? But you got it. You, you got it. It, it you get, your harvest came. It transpired in the time that it was supposed to, right? But why did it have to take so long? Why did I have to work so hard? Or I asked for this, but I ended up getting that. I mean, it got the job done, but I wanted this, but I got that. I wanted red and it was pink. Like, look. Someone will always find a reason to complain, you know, when they're walking in the energy of not being satisfied. All right. And when we're talking about narrow minded and tunnel vision, we can also add here a misplaced in value and what we put on the throne, you know, because we can think about the narcissist. What is the narcissist valuing? They're not valuing their heart you know they're not valuing their soul and their spirit and their essence and they're valuing shallow things what will i appear like to these people how much money you know material can i get you know three-dimensional so there's a misplace of value and am I by any means saying that money is has no value and a person's perception and never means anything in your life? No, no, but there's balance has to occur with things. You know, money is a tool is not the end all be all is not our God. It is a tool, a tool. And there are times in life, yes, where someone's perception does matter. <laughs> a police officer, their perception of you when they're approaching you and questioning you, okay? A judge, you know, you're going on a job interview. Yeah, <laughs> perceptions are going to matter at this point, you guys. But there's a misplace of value and, and, and it's off balance here is what I'm trying to point out and this person chances are it's going to have like a half empty or half cup empty as well and this is the narrow mindedness and the tunnel vision yet again all right so number two they're narrow minded they can only they're only focusing on the negative okay they only can see this in the tunnel vision when we're in the tunnel and we see the light at the end if we even see it okay is that little white space back there <laughs> but the closer we get to it the bigger that picture can become you know but sometimes we need to back away from the picture as well because when we're we're focusing on just this you know can we really see what's around that <laughs> no because we're just we're we got a microscope there <clears throat> on that one thing okay so yes narrow-minded tunnel vision 
that can certainly be a reason why this person is in an energy of not being satisfied. Number three, you guys, they're low vibrational. And we can extend low vibrational to say they have low emotional maturity. This person is walking in their ignorance, <laughs> you know? And when we're low vibrational, we're vibrating with low things. So let's say, for instance, like with a narcissist, conflict is a comfort zone. Confusion is a comfort zone. Chaos is a comfort zone. Negativity, argument, being combative, lying. You know, these things are low vibrational. And this is going to be a comfort zone. Because it allows them to stay in their shadow side. Okay. But if this is where you're comfortable, how can you get to higher vibrational things like gratitude? How can we see our blessings appropriately and weigh them and value them appropriately at that point? Okay. And this is just a sidebar about the low vibrational stuff. You know, the conflict, the chaos, the let, the lying and all of that stuff. It's their comfort zone because this is what they're filled with. You know, this is what, you know, they were experiencing a lot of times earlier in life. So it's their comfort zone, even though it's toxic. All right. This is what they're filled with. So this is the energy that they are subconsciously in, even when they're wearing the mask. You know, there's still chaos and conflict behind that because they're wearing a mask. They're pretending. They're trying to con someone. Okay, so they're doing it by behaving well for the wrong reasons. You know, vibrationally, we're still off balance here. Okay, so this person isn't satisfied because they're low vibrational, meaning they have low emotional maturity and they are ignorant right now. They're walking in their ignorance. Okay. That's number three. Number four, you guys, a lack mentality. You know, more is the more the merrier is not always true. And some people take that and make that their mantra. The more the merrier, not always. Or else we wouldn't have sayings like, more money, more problems. <laughs> you know, you're switching one out for another. You know, everything has its yin and its yang, you guys. But more is not always true. We got to be careful about always. <laughs> Never. We got to be careful when we make those types of statements, okay? More, the more the merrier is not always the case. And when people have toxic thoughts like that, they're never satisfied because they need to have more. I only have one house, though. <laughs> I need another one. I only have one pair of red bottoms, though. I need more. I only have one purse, though. I need more. You know, I only have one woman. I need a mistress. I need, look, this can go <laughs> on all kinds of levels, you guys. Seriously, or a dissatisfied child. It's, you know, a single parent go out spending last money to buy them this game console and they got three games to start, you know, but I only have three games. I'm bored, you know, just ungrateful for what you got. Okay. Look. The lack mentality. More is merrier. They always feel like they got to have more, more, more. When does the cup get full? You know? You only can hold on to so much at once. <laughs> Just pure greed. But there's a lack mentality and they're trying to fill themselves up with. All right. Which takes us to number five. They're filling voids with the wrong things. How can you be satisfied if you're trying to fill a cup that needs to be filled inside of you with the wrong things? How can you be satisfied at that point? You're not using the right thing. You know, it's the equivalent to eating the fast food when you're hungry and then wondering, Dad, I'm hungry an hour later because you didn't really nourish yourself. You didn't really have a real meal with some real food, with real substance that's going to actually, 
you know, really nourish your body and take the hunger pains away. So if you're filling voids with the wrong things, you're never going to be satisfied until you fill it with the right thing. Then you have a chance at least. <laughs> All right. So let's get into the two that just dropped into my head while we was talking about coconut oil. <laughs> Number six, you guys, settling. Settling, taking less than, how can you be satisfied if you are constantly settling and taking less than? You know that you deserve more than that. And the part of your body and your essence and your spirit knows that you are cheating yourself. So if you are settling and accepting less, you're not going to be satisfied. There's always going to be a part of you that wants more because it's not adequate. You know, what you're having is not adequate. It's just not enough. It's not enough. It's not adequate. Okay? There's a reason why medicines tell you how much to take. You need to take this much for it to adequately work. But if you take half the dose, what's going to happen? Are you going to resolve the issue? Are you going to get what you need from that? You're not. Because half of it wasn't enough. You need more. Okay? So number six, settling, taking less than, all right? Number seven, not being original or basically not being in your individuality. A lot of us have been doormats. A lot of us have been puppets. A lot of us are just doing what everybody tells us to do. So how will you be satisfied if you're not in tune with yourself to discern, okay, this is my true path. I need to go in this direction. Even though everyone else is telling me to go this way, this is actually my direction. I'm not, you're not going to be satisfied living a life that other people tell you to live. Number one, it's your journey and not theirs. <laughs> it's your journey. There's nothing wrong with getting a wise counsel. But you take the wise counsel and then you still be authentic to yourself and go the course of path that resonates with your essence and your being. Okay, not with your shadow side. I'm not that resonates with your shadow side, <laughs> but that resonates with your essence and your being. Okay. So not actually taking control of your own journey. You're not going to be satisfied. There's going to be a part of you like, uh, just because you're too, a lot of times a person like that is in fear. Oh, they're not going to like me if, if they know this, or I'm going to be judged if I, if I really be myself, or, you know, I don't want to ruffle any feathers. I don't want them not to like me. <laughs> and this is what? Low vibrational, low emotional maturity. And that's why I say there's a domino effect. And this is what? A lack mentality. Okay. But you have to get the wisdom. True abundance come when you're on your journey, when you're honoring yourself. That's when it can open up for you. Because you're ready to receive it. You're ready to receive it. There's no blockages then. Because you're walking the walk that you were supposed to be walking. And you're headed in the direction towards it. So now you're going to get to it. Okay. If you're having any of these issues, it's okay. You can correct yourself. You can reprogram yourself. You can work on these shadow aspects of yourself and fix this. It's not no death sentence. All right. And then if you know people who are behaving this way, hopefully, you know, this, this is helping you psychologically wrap your mind around what could be going on beneath the surface. I mean, you're not in their shoes. You're not going to know 100%, but chances are it's some of these things. Could be all of them. <laughs> okay. All right. So I hope that this video has helped someone. If it did, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the like button. All right. It helps push the content out in YouTube world, you guys. And this is the kind of information that we need to push out there. All right. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I think we could just put a number eight on here. We're going to put a number eight. 
Because I could do that. Let me write it down. Because I think this, it deserves to just have its own number. Even though I've been talking about it here and there. But it does need to have its own number. Guess we up to number eight. This is why I say keep listening. Keep listening. Don't assume it's over. Listen. Even listen all the way to the end. Because it's what? All you're going to hear is some awesome music anyway. Okay? Jam to it. Feel the vibe. But number eight is gratitude. This person is out of touch with gratitude. All right? And I had to specifically say that, and that's why I'm specifically giving it its own number, even though we kind of talked about that a little bit with the half cup empty and all of that. This person is out of touch with gratitude. All right. May not even, it may be beyond being out of touch with it, just don't even understand it. <laughs> you know? So if we get out of touch, don't know nothing about it. Okay. Don't know how, don't know how to be thankful. Don't know how to see a blessing when it, Smacks you in the face. Don't know how to properly value. Can't see the good out of a situation because they're too focused on the bad. That's the tunnel vision and that I talked about, the narrow-mindedness. See, they're all dominoes. They're all dominoes, you guys. But being out of touch with gratitude. All right. You're up. You have your health. You're listening to this video. You have a lot already. But we're living in a society that, you know, is placing values on the wrong things. And that is training people to value the wrong things over other things that are far more valuable. <laughs> far more valuable. Some people value just having a lot of money even over their peace of mind. Working 24 hours a day, running themselves to the ground. What to keep up with the Joneses to say that they got... Um, a Lamborghini, <laughs> you know, is what we're placing our value on as well. But yes, being out of touch with gratitude, you guys, eight reasons, eight reasons why they are never satisfied. Or it could be eight reasons why you're never satisfied. If you need help with this, you guys, I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. You can visit my website, LakiaCrawford.com, to schedule your session. I do voice calls. I do FaceTime. We'll be talking just like this over Skype, over WhatsApp, on the Facebook app, Instagram. We get in where we fit in. I'm an Android, so it's not the Apple FaceTime. Okay. No offense to uh, iPhone users, of course. Um. But yeah, you can schedule your session, you guys. There's all types of things that you could take advantage of, all right? If you've been financially abused by the narcissist and you still want to get more services, go through my Patreon. That link is down in, in the description and it's also accessible through my website, LakiaCrawford.com, which that link is down in the description as well. You'll see the tabs on the top. Patreon is the furthest to the right. Click it. All right, and, and pick a membership and see what you can get for that. And Patreon is good for anyone that wants to support what I do here on the channel. All right, and get some fabulous perks back for doing it. Um, I run a support group, you guys, over on Facebook too. Public one, private one. Those links are down below in the description. I've written some books, you guys, and I recently made a whole video i think let me my last video yeah check that out maybe i'll link it to this you can check that out and get to know me as an author but i have my x factor volume one great for helping you heal or get over a toxic breakup my x factor volume two which is a great book to help you with the shadow work with yourself then i have the beauty of i Okay, this is for those who are conscious that is woke, okay, and we're making a connection with our internal and external environment now, okay, and then I have Silent Tears, you guys, that is a book that I wrote for survivors of sexual abuse, all right, there's um, healing content in there to help you in healing, and you can do this in the privacy of your home or wherever, these books are available 
um, on ebook format and hard copy from Amazon and Barnes and Nobles. You can get signed copies from my website, LakiaCrawford.com. And my signed copies are sent from me and I send it out with so much love. All right. If you've ever gotten one, let them know down here how beautiful it was to receive that from me and the personalized cards and the ribbons and all the love that I put into that. All right, you guys. I'm serious. Check it out. They're good for you. And there are great ways to fill the voids when you're healing from narcissistic abuse. All right. So I want to tell you guys about something that I have going on on my Patreon. Um, <clears throat> a lot of survivors, they love talking to me and coaching and they like to fill the voids when they're not having coaching sessions with me. I have mobile texting you guys you can text me instead of the narcissist you can text me instead of running your family to the ground all right it's christmas time is coming around this is a great gift for yourself it's 150 dollars a month which is an excellent excellent deal you can text me whenever you want and i'll get back to you as soon as i can okay it's limited though i only allow a certain amount of people of course because i'm only one person <laughs> But there is space available for that right now for anybody who would love to take advantage of that. Okay. And we can talk about anything. So you could be, well, I might have to clarify that <laughs> professionally and to help you grow as a person. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So, um, thank you guys for all of the love and support that you show this channel. And what do I say at the end of all of my videos? Never give up on yourself. Continue to do the work. And until next time, please take care.